Hey y'all, it's Miss Katie with Heritage Ways. And if you're gonna have a fridge or freezer outside, please, please, please know this and don't make this mistake that we did. We're learning as we grow. We had this fridge freezer. It came with the house. Uh, it was in the kitchen, worked fine. And it worked fine all, you know, fall that we had it out here. Well, about a month or a little bit, well, probably two months ago, I guess, around Christmas time, I guess, things started thawing in the freezer. I didn't know what was going on. Brought the temp out here. It was crazy. There wasn't like rhyme or reason. A thermometer, rather. Brought the thermometer. And it would, it would work, and then it would, it would work. And then it, you know, the temp would be right, and then it wouldn't be right, and so forth and so on. And, but, and I, there just wasn't rhyme or reason. Well, we came out, I came out here the other day, but oh my goodness, stuff was funky. Half of it was melted in here. Half of it, a lot of it wasn't, but, well, a lot of it was. Some of it wasn't. And there was just the, the, the it had melted stuff. And look, some stuff had drained in here. <sighs> This is not enjoyable. Um, the temp is right, right this minute. Here's the thing. We have it out here in this garage. You see it's not insulated, it's not heated. We didn't know any better. We didn't know that, <laughs> oh, we did not, I called yesterday to our favorite little local um, uh, appliance place. And I talked to Christine, the co-owner, and I said, I need Kevin to come out and look at this because I don't know if it's salvageable. I told her, I said, I, I, I just, I don't know. And she said, well, the first thing I want to ask is, is it in a heated garage? And I said, no. And she said, okay, well, it sounds odd, but the compressor is feeling the uh, cold air outside and it's, thinks that its job is done. So it's not kicking on to cool your fridge. So the fridge is much, much hotter than it is outside. <laughs> she said they, um, the manufacturers or folks make heaters for air, the compressors on the fridge and freezers so that you could use them out in the garage. Okay, we didn't know this kind of thing. And I'm sharing this because maybe you didn't know it either. If you do know it, you can just have a good laugh at our expense. Um, so I told her the make and model and all that, and she said she would check and see about ordering one. Well, last night, Mr. Patient said, you know, what about just moving that thing down to the larder? Uh, because we're out here, I don't know, a couple, three, two, three times a week to get stuff, and what if we had it in the larder? So what he decided to do is, um, thanks for helping, little buddy. Okay, then get the, wipe the shelves off the refrigerator then if you can't get that. All right, so what Mr. Patient decided to do is to move it downstairs. Now, the thing is we are wanting an extra freezer and we want an upright, but they are hard to find right now. So we are going to have to be satisfied with a chest freezer. Uh, Mr. Patient and I don't care for those simply because things get lost in the bottom, but that's okay. We are going to take what we can find. So we are going to have to get a chest freezer that is garage ready. And that means that um, things in the temp around your appliance gets down to a certain um, temperature, it will still, the compressor will still kick on and run. So that's what we're going to have to get. In the meantime, right now, we're cleaning this up. Mr. Patient is borrowing a dolly, I call it. He calls it a refrigerator truck from Kevin and Christine. We appreciate that so much, but we only have like 45 minutes to use it and then have to get it back before they close for the day. So we're getting uh, this cleaned up. John Boy and Little Missy are shoveling a snow path so that we can, Mr. Patient can get this thing out of the garage. We're going to have to move the Model A and the trailer that's in front of it. And you can probably hear them scraping snow. They're trying to make a path. So that's what's going on. And that is what you need to know about buying a fridge and freezer for, you know, a garage that's unheated or an outbuilding that's unheated. 
So this is where we are going to uh, clean this area out right now. It's kind of um, just <laughs> through the holidays and just, I don't know, last month or two, we just let it pile up. I actually, I had a piece of furniture here, which now the printers are sitting on upstairs. So the kids came down. This was right before Christmas. The kids came down, took the stuff out of that um, piece of furniture, just laid it in the floor. And then, you know, we had Christmas and just, you know, how things just happen. And then carpet puts, get just stuff gets put in here. So we are going to figure out how to get the fridge down here by rearranging. And I'm having company tonight. <laughs> And I'm thankful for everything. I'm thankful for the food we were blessed with yesterday. I'm thankful for the company coming. But I've just got a lot to do today. Oh, man alive. This thing turned out to be an ordeal. And it was like a beat the clock kind of thing. Because Mr. Patient um, picked it up at 12, came right home, the dolly that is. Came right home, had a few minutes to get it down um, stairs and then um, get it back. We're appreciative for that refrigerator truck. But anyway, he had to take a door off and then he had to take this handrail off. And it was just crazy trying to get, um, get it all figured out. And then we had to take another door off as well. All right, so he pulls it in the back door. By this time, Little Miss Homemaker went across the street to get the neighbors to see if they could help. The neighbor men who are amazing, wonderful neighbors we have. Um, so <laughs> Mr. Patient finagled and got it in that door. Then this is him, bless his heart. This is a picture of trying to get it down the steps. Oh, it was just crazy. But he got it down to the basement. And then John Boyd put the railings on and the neighbors uh, sons help put the doors back on so Mr. Patient could take the refrigerator truck back right in the nick of time. <laughs>